Let's talk about the 2007 Chevrolet Aveo. Now the 2007 Chevrolet Aveo is the last of the first generation of the Chevrolet Aveos that came out from 2004 to 2008. So these 2007 Chevrolet Aveos come with a 1.6 liter four cylinder engine. And for the past 16 years, it still runs like a clock. No fancy technology, just the radio itself. But this is a very normal non electronic engine where you have to stick around in plastic, dig around with wires and electronics. This is a very easy engine to do. actually do oil changes, do maintenance on that stuff. Even the spark plugs, they're just coils, they're ignition coils. And for the past 16 years, yes, it still holds like a clock, even though it has like 220 some thousand miles. And let me point out some flaws that happened in the past 16 years of ownership. This is my dad's car, by the way. I've owned this since I was only three years old. So yeah, when we bought this car. <laughs> All right, let's see what how many miles this car has on the thing and see if it still runs like a clock. All right, ready? All right. You can't really see. Well, this is GM's quality of electronics for y'all. Um, this is more the point where GM was going on the verge of bankruptcy and they have problems with their electronics. They cannot wire a simple digital odometer and it come it goes out when it ages right now it has about two hundred and twenty four thousand miles on it and this is a daily driver my dad takes us to work to cheyenne one hour and an hour back every single day but yeah it still holds like a clock see this 1.6 liter four cylinder engine still runs like a clock after two hundred and twenty eight thousand miles in the past 16 years Never skipped a B or anything. But the only thing we've ever replaced in the past 16 years, well, I guess the tie rods, the wheel bearings, it's it's all the factories that this car has ever been maintenance on. Uh, we actually got this torched um, for the um, tie rods. Um, a buddy of ours, um, as my friend, as friends of my dad, he torched off the, the tie rods and put new struts on. All that good stuff because they've all been rusted pretty bad because of the salt, snow, dirt, all, you name it, every element. But, like I said, for the past 16 years, I mean, the engine still runs a clock, sure. It might lose a lot of power, but as cars age, they kind of do lose power as they age because, you know, a lot of miles, a lot of wear, a lot of wear and tear. And. Yeah, we place a lot of oil, we place a lot of brake fluid, we place a lot of um, antifreeze and all this stuff and all these fluids. Yeah, um, we're gonna do a transmission fluid flush. So we're gonna replace all that stuff very soon in this car. You know, because like I said, the transmission gets weaker, but you know, it's the wear and tears because these are, well, wear fluids which I don't know the name for those, but they're wear fluids. They wear a lot. <laughs> yeah. But this is a very simplistic engine. No, no electronics, no anything. Just a simple engine. 1.6 liter four cylinder. Still has these ignition coils. That's still very visible. So the only thing is the, is that you have to grab the oil filter, which is down there, which they wish they put it like up on top because it's a lot easier to get to. The engine coils are very easy because they're just right there. <laughs> uh, the battery still runs great. Uh, everything runs great, but the only thing, they have the LED converter kits for these headlights here. I clean those because they're foggy now. <laughs> and like I say, it has let's just go around and see how well it hold, held up. See, the wheels aren't the original wheels that the Aveo ever came with. These are just the... Um, um, just the aftermarket rims that we bought from Discount Tires. That was years and years ago. Yeah. Um, also, just to let you know, when you open the trunk, there's no latch because the latch broke and you have to get another latch for the trunk because this won't stay open without the little bar. <laughs> yeah. It's just getting old. Got a lot of miles. Paint chips from uh, hail damage. And 
aftermarket rims and also we got some all season tires just recently just because it's been snowing a lot in colorado and you know how it goes <laughs> yeah all seasons also we do have the original tires that the red car had it's just over there we just threw them in the backyard but yeah this is what's going on i know like i'm gonna get some led replacement lamps for those so yeah i mean also i might do that for the forester as well but you know if you want to see a build like that i can probably possibly do that as well yeah. after 16 years she still held up great and putting a lot of miles on it my dad's been putting a lot of miles and it still runs like a clock so these things have a lifetime of around 200,000 miles and well lucky enough if you do the proper maintenance and do the you know the work and by putting new oil new spark plugs it comes a long way it can last cars can last a long time if you know how to take care with of them that's why i told you in the last video about subarus if you know what you're doing and you know how to take care of them well they can last a very long time problems like that well 224,000 ish miles maybe 20, 228,000 because gm's quality of electronics <laughs> still runs like a clock now this car was bought in 2007 during the time where the great recession was starting and if you guys don't know about the great recession the great recession was actually started in, back in 2004 by a company called enron it was a fake scam company where they stole billions and billions of dollars out of the economy, which led to our economy tanking, the house market ran up, inflation started going up, and this is the only car that was only selling, the 2007 Chevrolet Aveos and the other compact cars. And they're, yeah, I mean, this is during the time where GM was also going bankrupt, and I told you guys that GM has some poor quality of electronics. Just look at the dashboard where I told you about the odometer. It's very glitched out because the GM's lack of quality and you know electronics so you have to take the whole dash apart which is not that hard um you have to be an advanced technician if you know what you're doing by soldering those little pins under the motherboard and just nearly solder them back together and rewire all the stuff or to get a tear out the whole dash and get a new dash and that's going to save you yeah, it's going to be a lot of money but you know at least it's worth it just to get take on the whole dash without just soldering the pins back together because you don't know what you're doing really and it's like uh, you can't the quality of uh, these odometers and i've seen like digital odometers in older and older cars like this car well much older that still work this is a gm's quality of the lack of electronics well now you know about the 2007 chevrolet aveo this is driven gears automotive signing off